BBC News with Gareth Barlow. The United States and Israel say they're pulling out of the UN's cultural body, UNESCO, citing what they call its anti-Israel bias. Washington had already cut off its funds after UNESCO granted membership to the Palestinians. Firefighters in Northern California are still battling to control the wildfires that have burnt for five days, the deadliest in the history of the Western American state. More than 30 people are known to have died, and special teams are recovering victims' bodies. Winds have dropped, but are expected to pick up again in the coming days. A comprehensive study has found that 25 million people die each year in pain because they do not have access to morphine. This represents nearly half of all deaths each year, and is the poor and those in less developed countries who are disproportionately affected. Initial results from Liberia's presidential election suggest the former international football star George Weir is on course to win the most votes in the opening round. The US State Department says Rex Tillerson has been consulting with his counterparts in Europe and China ahead of an expected statement from the President Trump on the Iran nuclear accord. There's speculation that he'll refuse to certify it again, having already done so twice with apparent reluctance. The President of Mexico, Enrique Peña Nieto, and the Canadian Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau, have said that they're both trying to secure a renegotiation of the North American Free Trade Agreement that can benefit all three members. On Wednesday, President Trump said he was ready to strike a bilateral deal with Canada if no progress was made. The chief executive officer of the South Korean technology giant Samsung Electronics has resigned. Gwon Oh Hyun said at the time had come for the company to start anew with younger leadership. In August, the company's former head was sentenced to five years in prison on bribery charges. BBC News.